Hey, where'd you guys run off to? <laughs> no, we're back. Have a seat. Sit back and watch. Watch this for a while. You guys wanted to watch this work, so... Man, it was a busy day in the shop today, wasn't it, Dan? Yeah. I got all that stuff done. We need some more over here. I got all that stuff done and went to the paint store. And a paint store to Bob is like a candy shop for kids. Yeah, it's just like Arm Freight, anything else. I love going to that place. I really like Associated Industries. I like going there. They let me go in the back and I can just touch everything and feel it go snooping through that whole warehouse and they're good people down there. I was thinking about going down there and making a video and uh, showing you guys what all they got and stuff. I'll ask Mark. What did you guys think about that? You want to go to Associated Industries and make a video down there? Show you all their goodies they got? Go, I'm gonna go with you. Alright. I'll give Mark a holler. Tomorrow and see what he says. He'll probably go for it. Might have to butter him up with some t shirts. <laughs> see, it's really. It don't soak into this oak, not, not near like it does that balsam wood. It's not even close. Man, this bottom's a lot easier than that top. Yeah, but I'm having a little trouble over here. Uh, I'll come help you. Just make sure you go past your edge a little bit, Dad. That keeps it from fraying when you trim it, you know? See how easy I went around that and trimmed it a while ago? Yeah. Nice clean edge. to Bob because he has got to be good at this. He sure taught his old man a lot and I was supposed to be teaching him. Shoot. It's his fault I am build airplanes at all. I remember when I was a kid we used to get them little wind up stick and tissue things I couldn't have been more than five or six. We'd be out in the yard chucking them airplanes, man. <laughs> Remember I got this one? It was like $2 back then. You know, I was in the hobby shop, Dad, and I seen one of them kits like we used to build. Yeah. You know, they're like 50 bucks now. I know. I seen one too, and it's ridiculous. And we used to get them like three or four dollars. Yeah, I used to take my allowance and get them. It was like two bucks. You know, and I used to build them little airplanes like that. Me and my buddy Joey Johnston. I ain't seen him since we was kids. Joey Johnston, if you're out there, give us a holler. <laughs> that was my childhood buddy. We used to get in all kinds of trouble. You know, I used to fly U control a lot when I was about 21, 22 years old. We used to buy those uh, McCoy 35s, $15 a piece. Imagine that, $15 for a brand new 35 motor. No. Remember I got this, got this one control line plane. Oh, and it was just the biggest thing I ever seen. I think he got it for me for Christmas one year. 
Remember that, Dad? Yeah. It was, you know, it wasn't very big, but I was like six or seven years old, so it was a monster to me, you know, and it took a, a 15. It took me a whole year to build that airplane, and boy, I just sat back and looked at that thing. Then the next Christmas, Dad got me a, a McCoy 15, just a control line engine, you know, no throttle. And, you know, and it was just the biggest, massivest thing I ever seen. <laughs> Remember that, Dad? Yeah. And me and my buddy Joey Johnston, man, we'd fly that plane all the time. It was just a... Well, I remember the helicopter. Oh, yeah. It's in the trees. <laughs> <laughs> One time, me and my buddy Joey Johnston in the summertime... We would mow lawns, you know, get us some cash. Then we'd go to we'd go to David's. That was the store. And we bought one of them little 049 helicopters, you know, it just got a motor sticking up and had some wings. They kind of worked off like centrifugal force. We fired that thing up and let it go. This was the first flight. Went way up, man, just way up there. And uh landed in the top of the biggest tree you ever seen in your life. And here you know my mom and dad's at work. We couldn't get it. You know what we did? We called the fire department and told them our helicopter was in a tree. They brought a ladder truck out. And got that out. <laughs> and got that out for us. I couldn't believe it. I come home and there's a fire department across the street getting his helicopter on what in the world? <laughs> Kids. Sometimes you just gotta get rough with that stuff, kind of manhandle it a little bit. Yeah. 